Georgia Congressman Doug Collins, ranking member of the House Judiciary Committee. He will be a witness in that hearing room moments from now. Congressman, good morning. Thank you for joining yeah. us ahead of a, a, a big morning and a big day. What are your expectations as you walk into that hearing room? Well, my expectations are as the Democrats are trying to frame this, how they can get it to the floor. Remember, this is not about a substantive debate on the articles themselves. This is going to be about a substantive debate on how we're actually going to take those to the floor. If I was the Democrats, I'd want as much, I, I, I'm asking for them to give us as much time as they can on the floor. Give us you know, as plenty of time for our members and, and others to go and make our case. Because we've been shut out in the intelligence committees, we've been shut down in the judiciary committee by uh, not letting us call witnesses, not wanting us to tell our side of the story. Well, now, before the American people on the floor of this uh, body, let us make our case. Case. Give us as much time as we possibly can. So some of this is not quite familiar with us and our viewers at home, frankly. So what happens in an hour? Well, I served on the Senate Rules Committee for four years. What will happen is we'll come in and we'll present. I'll present from the Republican side. It sounds like Jamie Raskin will be from the Democrat side. Just the overall view of what the articles are and what we believe them not to be and from our side. And then there's going to be a lot of questions from each of the members on various parts about the article. But at the bottom line, this is about setting the parameters for the debate and what the American public will see on the floor tomorrow. It's been amazing to me that all through this time they have, the Democrats have tried to rush this through before Christmas. We're seeing that actually take place. My question now will be for the American public is to see how much time they limit on the floor because we've been winning the substantive argument. We've been winning the fact that the facts do not show that President Trump did anything wrong. We've been winning those arguments while fighting uh, uh, majority Democrats who've been trying to shut us down procedurally at every motion. So this is going to be an open time for honesty and transparency. So Congressman, what, what I hear from you is that the biggest thing that's going to be debated by the Rules Committee is the length of time by which the House will be able to debate this on the floor tomorrow. What we just heard um, from one of the Republican members of that committee is that it is expected tomorrow that they w the, each article of impeachment will be debated separately. Do you yeah. anticipate the same? I do. I do anticipate them being able to debate it separately. They, they want to uh, block these up because, really, remember, this is all a show and tell kind of game. They've been trying to make this look like Clinton and Nixon ever since they started, even before they started, because they're trying to give legitimacy to what they're doing. They're trying to overturn 63 million votes of people and doing it in a railroad job and a sham job because they just do not like this president. Let's break this down very simply. The president did nothing wrong, nothing on the call. Even their witnesses told them that, and but they couldn't accept it because they don't like how his style is. They don't like how he did it. So they said, we don't like him anyway, we're going to impeach him, and congratulations, they're getting their wish uh, come to market, and the American people are the one that suffer. Three quick questions here. I'm just trying to figure out how today's going to go. Mm -hmm. will, will the Rules Committee be wrapped by today, or could it float into tomorrow? What do you think, yes or no? No, I think the Rules Committee will be done fairly, fairly quickly today. It'll, the, the Rules Committee is okay. known for having boisterous talks. So okay, we'll see. all right, so because we're told it could be feisty, there's nine Democrats in the committee, there's four Republicans, we'll see how that goes. Yes. How long would you expect to have debate on the floor of the House starting on Wednesday? Well, if they want to have a true uh, time where they can let all members talk, I think you need to at least have it maybe at least six to eight hours evenly divided. I think eight hours would give four hours per side. That gives all members a chance to talk. We're blimmer. House Republicans have not had a chance, and many of the House Democrats, but many of our members who are passionately upset about what the Democrats have done want a chance to come to the floor and talk. Let's see if the Democrats will okay. give them that opportunity. So that would be 16 hours total if we follow the No, lines. no, no, no. No, it'd be eight hours, four, and four. four hours. Eight, eight, yeah, total. four and four. So then yeah. you could have a vote on the floor of the House by late Wednesday afternoon then on the two articles, correct? Yeah, we could. We yeah. sure could. Uh, that would be can, ending can, debate. Can you insert part of your argument today in that Rules Committee that would be included in this process, yes or no? Uh, no, I think it'll just be part of the rules. As far as you talk about my, what I'm going to be saying, it'll yeah. be part of the rules committee statement itself. We, we've made our case, Bill. I mean, this is the one thing we got to understand. We've made our case consistently and won on substance. Every time we wanted to go down the substance path, they would divert to other things. It's amazing to me these articles of impeachment. You want to see the real problem in these articles? They claim in their written report all these crimes, but yet they couldn't find anything to charge a crime with. So they went with abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. That's how weak this argument is. The American people are getting ready to see how pathetically. Week, this argument is. So, Congressman Jerry Nadler will not be there, the chairman of the judiciary, you're the ranking member. There will be a Democrat from the Rules Committee who will act in his place, uh, Riskin, right? Uh, J James Raskin um, from yes. Maryland's 8th District. So, you go into this hearing room as a witness, and then the members of the Rules Committee will be able to question you and the Democrat. And what is that process like? 
Well, if you ever had a root canal, it would look very similar uh, because I've been on this rules committee, and really what it will involve is questioning about uh, each side. Republicans will try to make you know some of their points and ask questions that are in favor of the Republican minority view. Of course, Democrats will promote the majority view on this, and it really goes back and forth. It's really a strange process. It'll be interesting for the American people to see because it's not a substantive debate on the articles themselves, except may highlighting your own points. Because at the end of the day, they're not changing the articles; they're simply setting the parameters for debate. So it'll be just another opportunity to. Talk talk about the ridiculousness of the Democrats' argument, and they'll try to make will, their case once again. But will amendments be allowed? No, they're not going to allow amendments on this. Got I it. don't know what you're hearing from Mitch McConnell and some of your colleagues on the Senate side, but is he negotiating with Chuck Schumer right now, or is that yet to begin? I would say it's probably uh, yet to begin. I think Mr. Schumer, knowing the weakness of the House case, tried to do a preemptive letter and say, well, we need witnesses and other things. I think it just shows from the majority perspective in the House how weak their case is when the minority leader in the Senate is saying, uh-oh, we might need to strengthen their case. We might need to call more witnesses. We might need to have more time. I think it goes to show that the House case is, is dead on arrival in the Senate, and I think that'll come, and Mitch McConnell will, will put that in pro perspective here over the next few days after we pass it out. Very interesting couple of days that we uh, face here, Congressman. What are your expectations then uh, for debate on the House floor tomorrow? You're talking about now eight hours potentially a vote could sh uh, soon follow. What happens next? I think you're going to see a lot of passionate debate tomorrow. I think especially from the Republican side who is tired of seeing their president for three years, even before he was sworn in, being attacked by the Democrats over and over again. First it was he was a Russian agent. First he was colluding with Russia. And the Mueller report dispelled all that. Then his obstruction. And then they got a phone call that they didn't like. It's just always something. And Nancy Pelosi, Adam Schiff, Al Green, the litany of their uh, compadres have only wanted to impeach this president. So I think tomorrow you're going to see a passionate response, a very unified response. We're very confident in our response because we've believe that what they're doing is going to cost them next year in the election. And look, we're going to make this case to the American people. We're going to come back, I think, in November with a new pre with President Trump elected and a House majority, and we're going to go back to working for the, for the real American public and their needs. What do you think is best for the president on the Senate side? Do you think a long trial is appropriate, or would you like for it to be over within days? I think the, either way, is, is, I've always said it's easy because the president's coming from the side of truth. It doesn't matter if it's long or short. The president is on the right side of truth here. So I believe what you're going to find, though, is the senators want to get back to doing something else. that will be a relative, probably a middle ground short trial. But I think at the end of the day for the president, it doesn't really matter because he's done nothing wrong. And when you're coming from the truth, that makes it a lot easier. Uh, Congressman, if I could just get you to respond to, to something Byron York uh, put in the Washington Examiner this morning. Impeachment moves to the Senate. Get ready for a scramble and a January surprise. He writes, the bottom line is Republicans should not believe for a minute that the campaign to remove the president will rely only on the case Democrats have built in the House. Schumer and other party leaders will scramble for new information to throw at the president and at Republicans until it is over. The GOP and the White House need to be ready. Your response to that? Oh, I believe that. I've been ready the, this whole year. We've been on, the House has, has rose to be a challenge, the Judiciary Committee, the Intel Committee, the House Minority. We've been fighting this. It's time for the senators, the Republican senators, to step up. It's time for them to come to the, to the defense of a president who's done nothing wrong, who's been nothing but basically by the House majority and the, and the Senate major, minority, been basically beat on for three years when he did nothing wrong except turn our economy around, make our military stronger, do the things he said he would do. They need to step up and be uh, accountable to this president to make sure that the truth is out. And if Schumer and them who already think they have a weak case coming from the House by their obvious letter and other things, it's time for them to step up and meet the challenge. The president says the Republicans are more united than ever. Is that true? Yes, it is. I mean, all you got to do is listen to our conference, listen to what we see, see the votes that are being taken. There is a bipartisan impeachment up here against it. That's what we're actually seeing up here on the Hill. Sir, thank you for your time today. Do you, do you know of other witnesses today during that hearing? Is it just you or how many others? Yeah, right now, I would assume it's just me and the uh, stand-in for the chairman uh, will be, I mean, others so are allowed two. to come, but I don't, it's probably just the two of us. Uh, sir, we're watching 11 a.m. Eastern. Thank you for coming by today. 49 minutes away. We'll see you then. Thank you, Doug Collins. Thanks a lot.